Good day, everyone. My name is Oluwa Tosi. You're welcome to Dream and Fashion Academy online classes. Today, we'll be treating on dad manipulations, showing you the different types of dad um, that are inclusive in the bodies and showing you how to transfer them from one position to another. Don't forget all these um, topics that we're teaching is in our GMI Fashion Academy textbook, Advanced Pattern Cutting textbook. You can get this textbook from our online store or you can always pick up from the school. Now back to the class, where we're we'll treating that manipulation. Don't forget we're using the Natalie big body pattern. And in this body pattern comes this that, our shoulder that or Asian that, whichever one you choose to call it. This pattern comes with this shoulder that. So the whole essence of that manipulation is transferring one dad from one position to another position in getting your desired style, getting your desired shape, and manipulating your pattern. So I'm going to be showing you how to transfer this dad around the body to get your different dad positions. For this dad manipulation, we have 10 different dad manipulations. First dad manipulation is our shoulder dad, which actually comes with our body pattern. So this needs no introduction. When you draft your Natalie Bray body pattern, you can see it's inclusive of this shoulder that This is your dad's leg one and your dad leg. Okay, so I've written out all the darts that we'll be taking for this section in treating the dart manipulation. So I've been reading out from our textbook. It says shoulder dart is the regular dart that comes with the body pattern. It is also called the Asian dart. Don't forget I said that earlier. This dart can also be called the Asian dart. So for me to um, put this um, pattern, put this that on my pattern, all I have to do is, don't forget, I'm trying to replicate this that on my pattern. So we are going to be calling this point our point X. In all our fixing or moving one that from one position to another, we're going to be calling this post point X. We're going to be making reference to that point. So from point X, we say from this point X, measure in the middle 5 cm or 4 cm whichever one you choose to use for miniature if you're using 4 cm that's 2 cm um for if you're using 5 cm for adult then for miniature that's 2.5 cm so i'll come here and i'll measure 5 cm can you see that once i measure that in the middle with my ruler making use of my ruler i connect to my original dark legs I connect my original dark legs. Don't forget I said this is your dark leg one and this is your dark leg two. So if I'm going to replicate this dart on my pattern on my dress, this is how I'll be holding it. So I'm holding this dart all to this point, not getting to my point X. And that's how I replicate my shoulder dart on my pattern or on my dress. Now, showing you how to move this dart around the bodies to give me different um, boss shaping and different styles, different cuts depending on my desired style. So we are done with our shoulder dart. Next is my mid arm hold dart. How do I get my mid arm hold dart? Take your tape. Don't forget the first step. The whole essence is closing this dart and transferring it around the pattern. So you close this dart and then you move it somewhere else. Let's go. To close this that I'll be showing you how to close this that and transfer it to whatever um, place or position you're transferring it to. I'll be using this miniature body pattern as an example. So you can see my own miniature body pattern on paper. So this is my shoulder that or my Asian that. The whole essence is to close my that. Now don't forget that leg one and that leg two. I will close it like this. Once I close it, my paper gives me this shape. It's not sitting well. So the next thing I need to figure out is where am I moving this dart to? Am I moving it to my mid arm hole? Am I moving it wherever I'm moving it? It's my choice. The thing is to show you how to move your shoulder dart to your mid arm hole dart. And I said, how do you get your mid arm hole dart? Take your tape, round your arm hole. Take the measurement from SP to UP. So I'm taking the measurement on my body's pattern. And what I have here is 24. Half of 24 is 12. So that will be my mid arm hole. So my mid arm hole falls here. So the next thing I do is with my straight ruler. Don't forget, the first step is to close your shoulder that because we are transferring it to another position. Take your straight ruler. With a straight ruler, connect that your mid arm hole to your point X. 
connect your mid amp O to your point X. Once you do this, the next step is to slash this open, place it another paper, and then from your point X, you measure 4 cm or 5 cm in, and then draw your new dart legs. I'll be showing you how to do that on the pattern. So this is an example of the slash pattern I'm talking about. Don't forget the first step I said was close your shoulder dart, and then get your mid arm hole point. This is my mid arm hole point, then slash to my point X. Once you slash to your point X, place it on another paper. So this is my other paper. Then use a paper tape to hold it down. So I'll be using this paper tape to hold it down. And then don't forget, I said from your... Okay, so don't forget, from your point X, take in 2.5. We're using 2.5 now, or 2 cm, because we're using the miniature um, bodice pattern. So from my point X, I measure 2.5 or 2 cm depending on whichever one i choose to use don't forget if i'm using 2 cm it means i'm using 4 cm for adult if i'm using 2.5 for miniature it means i'm using 5 cm for adult so once i've gotten that point the next thing is to draw my new dart leg so from that my 2.5 or 2 cm whichever one is my choice i draw in my new dart legs so this is it i'll trim out the other paper now forget to fold your darts properly so you can see it's getting to my point my 2 or 2.5 cm that I measured here not my point x and then I can trim out the remaining so if I was doing this on my fabric I'll be doing the same thing And this is the process by which you transfer your dart from one position to another. So I'll be showing you all the other different um, positions that you can transfer your dart in the dart manipulation process. Don't forget the procedures and the steps are still the same thing. First step, close your shoulder dart. Second step, figure out the next place you want to transfer your dart to. Third step, rule a straight line from that point to your point X. The fourth step, you slash it open, place it on another paper, and the last step is from your point X, bring back 2 cm or 2.5 cm for miniature, Y 4 cm or, 4, or 5 cm for adults, and then draw your new dart legs. And that is you transferring your dart to another position. Don't forget, in all this process, your shoulder dart remains closed. Having completed our mid arm hole dart, and that, don't forget, I said the mid arm hole is the midpoint of your arm hole, the root, your push left of the don't forget to rule your step. So next is my underarm hold that. Underarm hold that. To get my underarm hold that from my UP, don't forget this is your UP. Bring down 8 cm. Bring down 8 cm. So from my UP, I bring down 8 cm. And then from 8 cm with my ruler, I rule a straight line to my point X. And that is it. This is my mid arm hole and this is my under arm hole that. So once I do this, don't forget the same procedures um, continue. You close your shoulder that, you slash this open, place it on another paper, bring back two, um, four cm or five cm for adults, and then do your new dart legs and that becomes your dart. So that's all for under arm hole that. I haven't showed you the process in which you used to close one dart and transfer to the other. This should be pretty simple simple for you. Next is my French dart. How do I get my French dart? My French dart is gotten from my waistline, on my waistline by the side. So from my waistline, I put a straight line to my point X. And this is it. I put a straight line to my point X. And the same procedure continues. Don't forget I have closed my shoulder dart. The next is my waist dart. For my waist dart, I already have a waist dart um, on my pattern that comes to my pattern. So what do I do? It just applies the same way I did my shoulder that, which is the Asian that that comes with my pattern. So the only thing I just do is extend this up to my point X, 
and then from there I measure back my four or five inches or five cm, sorry, four cm or five cm, and then I roll. So it's just like me using my exact diamond that right here. Another one is my center front that way. My center front waist that. Now my center front waist that is also like my French that. The only part that the only difference is that my center front waist that is done on the center front and not on the side. So for the French that I picked this part, for my center front waist that I'm picking my center or my center front line. That's on my CF line. So from that CF line, I'll be pulling a straight line connecting to my point X. Okay, so my center front waist that is connecting my CF waistline of my CF all the way to point X. Don't forget this differs from my French dart. My French dart is on the side where my center front is on the waist line on the center front side. Please don't forget. For every other one, you can cut without your waistline um, cut. But for some, for this, my center front that I have to have a cut on the waistline of my dress. The next one is my center front that. Center front that is from point X. Don't forget, this remains my point X. From point X, use your ruler to rule a straight line meeting your center front. Make sure your line is straight. Don't forget. This is it. And that is my center front that. The next is my neck tip, just like the name implies. From the tip of my neck, rule a straight line all to my point X. Please, I would like to say, don't forget your procedures. When you rule a straight line, you fold, you close your shoulder that, cut through, place another paper, and bring back 4 cm or 5 cm. So that's it for my neck tip that. Next, next is my mid neck that. After I get my mid neck, take your tape proof from your end to your neck tip.